Hi, this is Lucien, DH7LM and welcome back to Ham Radio Soul. If you are just starting out in Ham Radio, you may be wondering what kind of antenna you should get for the HF bands. So here are my top 3 recommendations. But first, I think there are 3 criteria for a great antenna, especially if you are just starting out. The first is, it needs to be simple, which means it can be easily built or bought relatively cheaply. Second, it needs to be effective. You really want to radiate some RF power, otherwise you will be frustrated, you will not be heard and especially as a beginning ham this can be really frustrating. Third, it needs to provide a great overall experience, which means it can be easily erected and it can also be used portable because many hams don't have the opportunity to erect big antennas at their home QTH. Also, portable operating is just fun. So what are my top three recommendations? First, the venerable dipole. Generations of hams have started out with this antenna and for good reason. Hands down, it's the most effective antenna there is out there. Except, of course, huge beams on big towers, right? But other than that, it's really the best antenna, especially the monoband dipole. Dipoles come in all shapes and forms and can be very easily built and bought cheaply. I would definitely recommend the monoband dipole to start out because this is really a beast of an antenna. It's very, very effective. I would recommend building one or buying one for the 40 meter band or the 20 meter band you'll find plenty of hams and plenty of contacts on these bands. Second recommendation, the end-fed half wave. This is basically like a dipole except that you feed it from the end, which makes it very very convenient, not only for portable operation but also to put it up on your home QTH where you may not have a lot of space available. It just needs one suspension point and it works really really well. I personally have one up right now and it's just a great antenna. It has a little transformer that transforms the high impedance at the end of the dipole to the low impedance of your coax cable and transceiver. This thing is easily built but you can also purchase one for relatively cheap. Third recommendation, the ground plane. This is more something for the higher bands, let's say 20 meter band and up, because it's a vertical antenna. Think of it as kind of a dipole only that you put one leg of the dipole vertically and the other one you put horizontally. And you probably need two or three of these counterpoises of these other legs so you have the following shape. These are your counterpoises, they are um, a couple of feet above ground and then you have your vertical dipole leg let's say. So you can just strung it on a tree or use a fiberglass mast or something and it may be more suitable for your location. And this also works really really well. So these were my top three recommendations for starting out. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Consider subscribing if you liked it. And uh, all the best for your ham radio career. 73s and bye bye.